gender-based violence is a red flag for many of these mass casualty events, not just in Canada, but actually around the world. He was a child who saw his father beat his mother and grew up to become a man who would replicate the same patterns of violent behavior. The motivations of the Nova Scotia shooter may never be fully understood, but the Mass Casualty Commission's final report makes it clear this was a man who learned to use violence to get what he wanted, especially from women. Well, coercive control is a term that really speaks to a pattern of abuse that can happen that's not necessarily physical, but absolutely can have many different manifestations. It can be things like name calling and long term feeling, making somebody feel like they are manipulated and gaslighted and uh, controlled and don't have uh, the space to live their own life. The third volume of the Mass Casualty Commission report focuses on the shooter's history and how he used threats of violence and coercion to control women. That included his partner, Lisa Banfield. Her family told the commission she became ever more isolated, ever more dependent on him, even as he became physically violent. One of his neighbors even called police to report he had assaulted his partner and telling Mounties that he had guns in the home. But the responding officer or denied that's how it happened. But even if everything was going well, the way it should on a policing side, we have to remember that police, prosecution, and prison is very, very thin when it comes to addressing gender-based violence. Most people never report gender-based violence to authorities. They don't feel safe enough to report. The commission also learned the shooter exploited vulnerable women, those afraid to speak out. But the women would talk to Avalon Sexual Assault Center. The information they provided really, really highlighted how long this was going on and how the perpetrator really exploited um, individuals from marginalized and racialized uh, communities and was doing that for a very, very long time. Those women told Avalon the shooter was a household name among black Nova Scotians, known for decades as an exploiter of racialized women, the kind of man who would provide dental services, then demand sex when the women couldn't pay. Avalon's Christina Fifield says it's not surprising these women didn't think yeah, anybody would listen. Uh, that's happening far too often. That's been my whole experience in working in the gender-based violence sector for the last, you know, 14 years. and. It's happening. It's happening today. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.